Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to today's Primal Movement Flow session. So I'm really excited to add this session into the tolerance for all of you guys, um, because it's one of the most fun ways of training, I think. Um, it is a beautiful combination of mobility, strength, coordination, and fun in one quick, short little bubble of getting yourself a full body workout. And each week we're just going to be going through different progressions and different aspects of the skills that we cover and teaching you how to start linking things together in a really fun and interactive way through the final movement flows system. So before we get started, I'm just going to go through a quick little warm-up uh, just to get the wrists and everything nice and warm um, and a little bit through the hips and ankles and stuff as well. Um, because like everything, when we start loading up through our hands, we need to recall the patterns and it can be a little bit tough on the wrists if we aren't very mobile through them. So this is why we spend that little bit of extra time giving them some, some love. Um, and if you do feel like your wrists do a bit achy when you're doing some of these sessions, and um, go back over this little wrist warm up and give that a bit of this into your daily practice. So spend five, ten minutes just walking through, getting that uh, moving a lot better because it's going to make a lot of some stuff a lot easier to do. So we get started with that. Again, as always, anytime we're on our hands, making sure our index fingers point nice and straight, the rest of the fingers are spread out. When you're on your hands as well, make sure that you're gripping the tips of your fingers in towards the floor as well as the base of the knuckles in towards the floor so you're not just loading that weight through the way of your hand. If you load the weight just through the way of your hand and your fingers are soft, you will jack up your wrists and it'll be a lot more comfortable. So get used to being really active through here. Then from there, hands underneath your shoulders to so get into that nice box position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, heavy post on the just start off getting used to playing in that position. So, like gripping your fingers in and I'll relax that off. Gripping your fingers in and I'll relax that off. As you start doing this on and off a few times, you'll feel as you grip your fingers in, you grip your muscles in, that'll start waking up some more muscles through your arms, shoulders, and through your upper back. And just have a bit of a play with that. For some of these, as you grip that finger as well, you might feel, especially that index finger, and the knuckle might want to lift off. So, see if you really push that down. It basically acts, acts like the big toe in your hand, so making sure you're really active through that space. From here, we're going to push your chest away from the floor so your spine is nice and straight, and you're just going to rock that way forward as far as you can. Feel that nice stretch through your wrists and slowly coming back. Again, keeping the spine nice and long as you're rocking that forward, slow control, coming back. So we're just going to move in and out of this position for a few. Each one, see if you can just come a little bit more forward, keep pushing through your shoulders, keep your arms nice and straight, and rocking that back. As you're rocking back, you keep your toes tucked under. See if you might find a little bit of a stretch through your big toe as well. And last one, we're just going to hold that forward for five, four, three, two, and one. From here, rotate your hands around so your fingers are towards your knees. And for some, you just might rotate as far as you can comfortably for yourself, depending on what that mobility range is like. Again, grip and your fingers, keep it towards the floor, and you're just going to drive your hips back, keep your arms nice and straight, and coming forward. And just move slow and steady in and out of that position. Again, rocking that back, and pause, coming forward. Just going to go for a couple more of these. Beautiful. Then the last one, we're just going to rock that back and go for that nice little sway side to side. Just rocking that weight side to side with that movement. Good. And then coming back center and shaking the wrist side. Excellent. So the next one from here, we're just going to keep your elbows nice and straight. And we're just going to go for little circles through our elbows. So you'll see as I rotate my elbows forward, that's going to rotate the crease of the elbow facing forward. That's going to pull the shoulder blade back down. And then as I rotate it the other way, you feel these, if you look at the shoulder, see how that internally rotates through the shoulder. So just have that little bit of a play both sides, rotating your elbows around and coming back in. Keep active through your whole upper back. So you're pushing your chest away from the floor. And as you're doing that movement, like it's just be aware of how that feels in your body. Making sure you're gripping through your fingers, getting that movement coming from your elbows, and feeling how that feels through your shoulders. 
as you get that internal kind of external rotation, you start feeling more of that connection. The world is how we are start moving our shoulder blades on our upper back. Beautiful. And from there, we're going to keep in that same position. I will stay nice and straight. And you're just going to drop your chest towards the floor, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Then from there, you're going to just push your hands into the floor and you're just going to run through your upper back and really try to reach and open up through your shoulder blades. So in this position, you're, it's not about flexing in your mid back, it's about reaching your hand as far forward as possible. And then as you come back, it's about Holding that shoulder blade back and down as low as possible. So moving really slow and steady between that two movements, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, then really push it over that shoulder blades nice and wide apart. Again, be aware that you're not really arching through your spine and try that movement and really not the tree your mid back. Then they encourage a bit of that movement, but then we want to feel that movement actually opening in our shoulder blades itself. And again, this is really good opportunities for you to start paying attention to what your body wants to do naturally. For some, as you're walking up and down, you might feel your shoulders just bunch up towards your ears. So see, can you start encouraging your shoulders to come back and down as you drop them and down to that position. And just play with this movement in and out. Beautiful. Then from here, keep it in that kneeling position, you're going to reach your hands out in front. Keep it on with your fingertips. From here, you're going to reach your shoulders up towards your ears. You're going to tuck your rib cage in, and then you're going to drive your armpits towards the floor. So again, you can reach your fingers towards the floor, shoulders towards your ears, armpits towards the floor. So feel that nice stretch coming from your whole arm and back and shoulder. And just take a nice big deep breath. Just allow yourself really to sink into this position. Keep it really active in that position as well. It's not a passive stretch. You want to be continually pushing your shoulders towards your ears, armpits towards the floor, keeping that rib cage tucked in. And then from here, we're going to take a big deep breath in. As we're breathing out, you're going to relax through your back, dropping your chest towards the floor, and looking towards your hands. So in that position, we're starting to arch through our whole upper back, squeezing your shoulder blades back and down in that position. Or you're just going to hide out here. Take a nice deep breath. Hold it up nice and steady. And we're just going to keep taking some nice gentle breaths in this position. Keep pushing your chest towards the floor. I avoid your hands and hold me here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it in that low position. We're just going to tuck your rib cage under again. And we really push open through your shoulders for another five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. So from here, we're just going to start off with um, a couple of little aspects of the base and the bear. So these are some really fundamental movements that I start working with. Um, and we already covered them last week in the Thursday's Boot and Flow session. So with the base, it starts off in this box position, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, active through your fingers, you're just going to open up the active through your whole upper back, you're going to draw that belly button towards your spine, so you're nice and active through your core, and you're just going to push up, so you're holding your two knees off the floor. So you stay in that position, holding the spine nice and straight, so it's not like running through the back, and not keeping the knees up really high, you're just keeping it in that nice box position, keep active through your fingers, keep active through your core, so you draw that belly button in, I'm just going to hold it here for three, two, and one. Relax that down. And we're just going to go for a few of these just to see how that feels for yourself. And each time, again, it's being super mindful with the movements, listening to your body. It's not about just getting into position and just trying to lock down and hold. It's the more you can relax and really get everything working in that position. So again, fingers are active, shoulders are active. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. Three knees off, and we're holding that nice and steady here. Again, we're keeping active through your core, keep that breath coming in to your diaphragm. We're just going to be holding nice and steady here for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Nice. So, the next one from this, we're going to start making this a little bit more challenging. So, we're going to get up into the exact same position. So, shoulders are active, drawing the belly button in towards the spine, so you're active through your core. 
two knees come off, and then from that position, who's going to lift that left foot off the floor? So you see, as I lift that foot off the floor, nothing else to do. So my hip doesn't drop, or I don't try to push myself up. I just keep in that nice box position with the foot off the floor. So I'm just working more through my hands, through the core, and hold for two and one. Again, as you start lifting something off, that means that the other three points of contact have to be working a lot more. So you're gripping up your hands, so that's going to be strong through your shoulders, you're active through your core, keeping everything in that stable, stable position. Again, coming up into this position, lifting the right foot off, holding that nice and steady. Holding the nice big deep breaths, keep your active through your fingers. If you're quad burning, you're not facing through your core enough, hold it for three, two, and one. Beautiful. So the next one we're going to start doing is a little bit more challenging with these. This is this is some of the stuff you can really start playing around with in your own time. So like you don't have to do that every all the warm up with you just pop them onto the floor, get into these positions and see how you go. If you have kids and stuff like that, well, that's really cool to be able to start playing some of this stuff with them. So we're getting in that same position, two knees off, lifting that foot off the floor, and we're just going to lift that other hand off the floor. So you can really hold that nice and steady. Three, two, and one. Coming the other side, coming up, lifting that right foot off, left hand comes off. Again, you're not lifting the hips up, you're keeping that nice and stable in that box position for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Have a little shake out of your wrists, have a little breather, see how that feels. So, the next one we're going to come for is going to be getting into the better position. So, it starts off in that same beast. So we are active through your fingers, active through your core, two knees are up, and we're just going to drive up into that nice big airframe. So as we push into that airframe, I want you to focus on really pushing and reaching tall through your shoulders, driving your heels back, driving your knees back, so you're keeping up nice and steady in that position. So keeping really active here, so you're not just sitting with your shoulders, really push tall, Knees back, heels back, holding there for three, two, and one. Beautiful. So again, when we're working for that bear position, we start off in that kneeling position where we've got that right angle through the shoulders. As soon as we push up, it's about keeping that really huge top, then reach up high. So it's not keeping your shoulder relaxed down. It's really trying to elevate and reach out as high as you can so you're pushing that angle. And as you're able to do this, you're able to start working back more into that circular angle. But like it's just continually pushing, pushing, pushing through here. So we're going to go up again in three, two, and one big push up. This time in that position, I want you to bend your knees. So that's going to take that pressure off your hamstrings a little bit. So as you bend your knees, this is going to allow you to play through your shoulders a little bit more. So you can just feel how it feels like to push really tall through your shoulders. Without that pressure from the hamstrings, and then relax that up. Big push and reach through your shoulders, drive that up. Slow control, relax that up. And just come in and out for a couple of these movements. Beautiful. Then the last one, we're just going to push that up tall and we're going to be holding it here. Keep holding up in that position, and then we're going to drive your knees back. And then bend your knees in. Keep pushing taller through your shoulders. Drive your knees back. Bend your knees in. Again, keep taller through your shoulders. Big deep breaths. Two more days. Last one. Uh, we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Have a little breather there, see how that feels. So the last one that we're going to work on today is going to help with the squat pattern, so it's the frog movement. So with the frog movement, start off in this position and we're just going to sit down into a squat, getting low as, as low as you feel, and we're coming back up. So just going up and down for a few days first, just to get the hips and that's the warm up through this pattern. Again, keep your shoulders back, spine nice and long. Working out up and down. So you just move as low in that position you can while keeping a nice position through your shoulders, through your hips. From here, we're holding that bottom position. 
you're going to reach the hands forward and then you're going to bring your shoulder width forward over your hands. You push a strong that through your shoulders, look through your fingers, jump, chest pod, up and back. Good. Again, hands down, shoulders forward, jump, chest pod, hands back, coming through. Go for a couple more of these. Beautiful. Good. Have a little move around, see how that all feels. So now for the last bit of the session today, we're just going to start playing and linking some of these movements together through a little bit of basic flow. So it's just going to be working through one pattern to the other to the other. And and we're just going to go for that for a few minutes, then have a bit of a breather, and then go through a couple of rounds of that all together. So how this is going to look, we're going to start off in one position, onto your hands and knees. We're going to come up into that nice base position, and we're going to just start coming forward for that quad. As we're coming in that quad position, we're keeping nice and steady, keeping everything balanced, and then coming backwards through that quad. Once we get to the back, you're going to you can have a little breather if you need. Two knees coming up. You're going to drive up into that big head there, into the face or into the bear. You're going to work up and down for a few days. And then hold in that top position. And then we're going to come for that bear walk. Opposite hand, opposite foot moving. A couple of times. And then from there, coming down, you can take a step up. And then we're going to drop down into a squat. We're going to come for, jump forward, chest tall, jump back, chest tall, and we'll go for a few of these in and out. And once we've done the round with that, we'll have a bit of a breather and then go for another round. Sound good? So again, before we get stuck into this, big things I want you to focus on is moving really slow and steady with these movements. This is the first time you've done some of these movements. I prefer to see you taking a few steps, have a little break, Taking a few steps, have a little break rather than just kind of working through the movements with the foot form. So, allowing yourself really to start giving you that opportunity to start learning them. And another really good tip that I recommend for this stuff is like videoing yourself with these movements at the start. So, to get a couple of weeks' time, you can come back and just check where you're at, see, so start seeing where you're improving and stuff like that with the movements as well. Sweet, sounds good. So, getting back in the position, we're going to start off. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Holding this nice and steady, two knees coming off. And we're just going to start walking, opposite hand, opposite foot. Keeping that nice, smooth and steady. And then coming backwards. Nice, smooth and steady. Going forward again, keeping that going. Nice big deep breaths. Again, keep that nice uniform pattern, watch that you're not rocking your hips side to side. And then you can have a little break. Then we're going to be coming up and down into that air frame. So in that position, two knees off the floor, shoulders active. Then you can push up nice and high. Pause up here, slow control, coming down and pause. Big push up, have that pause. Slow control, having that pause. Each time, reach as tall as you can. Hips up, knees back. Slow that down, have that pause. Two more of these. Big push up and back down. Last one. Big push, hold in here. So in that top position, opposite hand, opposite foot, step forward. Opposite hand, opposite foot, step forward. I'm just going to be working at it slow and steady through these motions. And then coming back in that reverse. As you're coming back, really push and reach through that hand, ground the other hand down. Big push and reach through that hand, ground the other one down. And just keep working that forward and back in your own space, in your own time. Moving slow and steady with the patterns. Keep that going for another five, four, three, two, and one. Pop it up. Sitting down into that squat position, wherever that might be for you. Hands forward, shoulders forward, 
Had that group three fingers, push through shoulders, pop through, chest up nice and tall. Hands come down between your feet, then push through your shoulders, driving that back, keeping that squat nice and pretty each time. Working that forward, chest tall, coming back, chest tall. Make this a little bit harder as you're coming forward. When you get down in that position, bring your hands straight up overhead, coming back down. So we start actively working that shoulder flexion. Hands overhead, chest tall, coming down. Two more of these forward and back. Last one. And I'm back. Beautiful. Have a nice little breather there. Give yourself a minute or so, and then we're going to go for one more round of that, and that's going to be the end of today's session. So again, with these sessions, I like to keep them short and sweet, to the point, learning one or two of the basic movements, and then learning how to link them all together in that fun and interactive way. So as you go for the second round of this, again, paying close attention to what your body is doing, how your body is feeling. If your wrists are feeling a little bit, bit stiff or anything like that, making sure you're going really slow, really activating through your fingers and stuff like that as well. And yeah, just, just have fun with it, enjoy exploring, enjoy playing. So you're getting into that position, getting ready to go three, two, and one. Shoulders strong, core active, coming for that crawl. Again, as we're working for this crawl, if you feel your quads are burning, you're not active through your core. So making sure you're drawing that belly button up towards your spine, keeping that nice station pattern. Again, don't want to see hips coming rocking side to side. I want to see that nice uniform control as we're coming forward and coming back. Keep that going for another five, four, three, two, and one. They push into that end frame, back down. They push into that end frame, and back down. And working that nice and steady, up and down. Really reach tall through your shoulders, through your hips. Have that control in your shoulders coming down. Big push. Down, last two. Last one, and hold. Reaching tall through your shoulders, hips up, core engaged, opposite hand, opposite foot, a step forward, opposite hand, opposite foot. Again, move and slow and steady with these movements. Don't want to see that rock inside the side of your hips. Really reach tall through your shoulders as you're pushing back. Big push, reach tall. Again, moving at your own pace if you need to take a break. Take a break, count to three, and then go again. Focus on the quality of the movements. Keep them going for another five, four, three, two, and one. Popping into the squat where I've got my feet for you. Hands forward, shoulders forward. Pop through. Chest arms up tall. Coming back. Chest and arms up tall. Nice. Each time, keep that spine nice and long. Keep breathing. Keep moving nice and controlled. Beautiful. Two more. And relax. Awesome. So have a nice breeze in there. If you feel, go for another round of that yourself. And but for today's session, we're just going to call it after two rounds while we're working with any new movements. And next week we'll just keep building on some of these patterns. Every week we'll be adding a few more little things into it, and then after a while you'll be able to start linking lots of different elements of together, start playing and exploring a lot more with that. So if you find this session really interesting, then 
please share some feedback in the comments. And if there's anyone that you feel would be really interested in learning more of this style of movement, and just reach out and get in the connect in, ask some questions about the Hudson Mover, and really look forward to our next session together. Have a beautiful day.